Hello, in this video, I'll show you how to do skin retouching from the start to the very end in just 10 minutes. So simply spare 10 minutes of your time to learn and understand the concept of skin retouching using frequency separation from the start to the very end. And in case you want to download this image file along with this tutorial, simply check the link in the video description to download this raw file. So in order to do frequency separation, we are basically going to come to the background image and create two copies out of the background image. So simply drag and drop on the new layer icon or you can as well press ctrl j or you can use command j twice to create two copies from the background image and simply name this to color and you're going to name this up layer to texture after naming these two layers we are basically going to come to the color layer and turn off the texture layer then you're going to come to filter come to blur and come to gaussian blur take the red slider all the way down to the minimum which is 0 0.1 Click on the area on the skin that seems to have more skin details or skin texture and blur away those details by moving this radius slider and stop at that point whereby the details on the skin are just starting to disappear or to get blurry in this very image. So at about 8, that is when the details on the skin are just starting to get blurry or disappear from the image. So depending on the photo that you're trying to edit, you have to stop at that point whereby you are just starting to lose out on the skin details in the image and simply come and click OK. Just come to the texture layer, turn, turn on the texture layer, then come to image, come to apply image. It is going to open up the apply image window right here. The source is basically the name of the photo that you are that trying to edit. Then under layer, click and select the color layer, channel RGB. Under blending, make sure you select add because we are editing a 16-bit image. The scale is 2 offset zero and simply turn on the invert option and you'll see the textures on this square like kind of layer so if at all you have eight right here it means your photo is going to be eight bit so for a, for an eight bit photo these are settings that you have to use after selecting the color layer turn on rgb make sure invert is not checked under blending use subtract the scale is two offset 128 and you basically have the same results so for our case we are editing a 16 bit image so i'll revert this to 16 bit settings and click OK, change the blend mode from normal and change it all the way down to linear light. Then select both layers, both the texture and the color layer, and you drag and put them into a group. You can rename the group to frequency separation. After renaming the group, open up the group and select the color layer. So for a first step, we are just going to come and select the lasso tool. So this is the lasso tool right here. And for a setting, make sure it is on new selection mode. The feather is 20 pixels and aliases checked right here and the feathering is 20 pixels after doing this you're just going to come and make a selection on the skin so you can slightly zoom in to, to make a selection on the skin so to make a selection simply click and you move your mouse like that to make a selection on the skin don't select close to the edges of the subject or even the eyebrows or the hair so make sure you make a simple selection then come to filter come to blur come to Gaussian blur and this is going to bring back the initial radius that you use for your, for your frequency separation. You can simply manually move this forward and stop at that point whereby you are getting a very nice texture for the skin. So about 24, that is when I'm just starting to get a beautiful skin texture for this subject. Or you can as well multiply the radius that you use for your frequency separation. So for us, we had this. 8 so multiply that by 3 so for whichever value that may have used for your frequency separation simply multiply that radius by 3 so 8 by 3 is 24 I'll delete 8 and type in 24 and click ok so this is what i'm going to be applying onto the rest of the subject is skin so just come back to filter blur come to gaussian blur and click ok come to this other side and make a selection so i'm making very tiny or minute kind of selections because i don't want to make a very big selection so i'm just going to make this tiny selection keep eye from the dimples come to filter gaussian blur and in case the effect is too much in a given area i'm going to be showing how you can fade or reduce on the effect in a given area so i'm just going to come back to filter blur gaussian blur and click ok so when it comes to the nose, I'll only apply it only on this side of the nose. Don't select the whole nose because that is going to make the whole nose look flat and look big than it was meant to be in the first place. So I'm just going to come back to filter, black cam to Gaussian black. So like I said, in case the effect is too much, simply right click on the selection and come to fade Gaussian black 
and you can reduce on the opacity of the given effect. So I'm just going to leave everything to 100% for this kind of portrait or for this image so that you guys can see the effect in real time. So after applying the lasso tool technique, we are just going to blend the skin even more. You can see the before and after for just using the lasso tool technique. So you can see that lasso tool is going to leave these kinds of blotch blotchiness on the skin tone. So we want to perfect the skin tone. So with the color layer selected, simply turn off the texture layer. And the next step is simply coming to the brushes, get the mixer brush tool. In case you can't locate the mixer brush tool under the brushes, you can locate your mixer brush tool down here. So for our case, we have selected the mixer brush tool. And for a setting, simply make sure the hardness is set to zero. Soft round brush is selected. Make sure a clean brush is selected. And this second option that is clean brush after each stroke is selected. The weight is 9%. The load we are going to be using is 75%. The mix is 90%. And the flow is 100%. Then make sure sample oleas is not turned on or is not checked. So we just want to simply blend the skin color better. So you can increase or reduce in the size of the mixer brush tool by using the open and close square bracket keys on the keyboard to reduce or increase on the size of the mixer brush tool. And in case the mixer brush tool is showing a plus icon, simply deactivate the caps lock key on the keyboard. So just want to simply blend these uneven tones on the skin using the mr brush tool so that you can have a very beautiful blend between the skin color or the skin tones of the subject so simply blend those areas that have this kind of blotchiness on the skin tone of the subject and in that way you're going to be creating a smooth transition between those tones on the subject's skin so take your time and you don't have to zoom all the way in so to blend simply click and hold down and you drag the brush and you have to move the brush in a given direction depending on how the skin on a given area is flowing. So you can see this area is moving in this kind of up and down direction. That is how I also have to move the mixer brush tool to blend every single area that seems to have an even skin tone transitions. And for the nose, you can see it is moving in this kind of up and down direction. I'll just blend that area. And as well, blend this beautiful highlight on the subject's nose, just like that. So you can see how beautiful the tones are now blending in this subject's body. So just come and turn on this to see what you have been able to do. And you can as well work with the texture layer turned on in this case. So just blend quickly like that. And you can see right now the skin is turning to look nice, better, and even smooth in this case. Once you're done working on the skin tones and blending the skin tone transitions or the skin color transitions, the next step is going to be simply removing the pimples and blemishes from the skin. You can say before and after for just the frequency separation. So to remove the pimples or the blemishes from the skin, simply select the texture layer and come and get the clone stamp tool. And for settings, make sure the hardness is set to zero. Soft run brush is selected. The mode is set to normal. Opacity is 100%, flow is 100%, and make sure you zoom all the way in by using Ctrl plus on the keyboard, or you can use Command plus on the keyboard. So to remove pimples and blemishes, we basically want to copy clean skin and paste the clean skin over the pimples or over the blemishes. So reduce on the size of the clone stamp tool by using the square bracket keys on the keyboard. So to remove a pimple, make sure that the size of the clone stamp tool is slightly bigger than the pimple or the blemish that you want to remove. So to remove a pimple, simply hold down the option key on the keyboard. Option, click on a clean area near the pimple. Release the option key on the keyboard and simply click over the pimple or the blemish to get rid of it. So this is what we have to do for the rest of the pimples. Keep on sampling by using the option key on the keyboard and pasting over the pimple or over the blemish to eliminate every single pimple from the subject's skin. And in that way, we are going to be ending up with a beautifully retouched image. So take your time as you're removing all these pimples and blemishes from the skin. So you have to keep on zooming in and out to see or identify every single area that has an even skin color or where the pimples are in this case. So take your time as you're trying to eliminate these pimples.
And right now we are done removing the pimples and blemishes from the model skin. Let's see the before and after for the retouching of this very image. This is the image before, after, before and after, before and after. So this is how you can simply understand how to do high-end skin retouching in Photoshop in just 10 minutes. I hope you have understood every concept that I have used in this very video. Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in yet more videos on this channel. Don't forget to keep practicing and as well keep creating.